Hey Libra, this is an X reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the 3rd through the 9th. This is a general, so it will not resonate for everyone, okay? If you guys are interested in a personal, that information is down below the video. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, I have incorporated some Romance Angels cards for you guys just to add another layer to your reading. Here we go. Ooh, children. Hmm. Your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Hmm. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Hmm. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I get the feeling that a lot of you Libras already know that you have met the one, but I feel like you're in denial because they are not your usual type, for sure. And I feel like when I see this card, um, there could actually be some of you who, you know, your children or their children are actually influencing the relationship, not like they have an active part in it, but, you know, the focus may be on the children. But what I'm getting here from your reading is that possibly there is somebody here, if not the both of you, who are not really acting like children, but really not wanting to see where your where your fault is or where your fault lies in something. Okay? And I and I strongly get that, you know, it's not just Libra, but it's the person that they're dealing with. Like they're there is something, a behavior that both of you guys are failing to see that is causing you not to be together, okay? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I feel like a lot of you have been seeing signs, hearing things um, like songs or, you know, something like that that is kind of taking you back to this one particular person, okay? There is a need to keep an open mind because that person could be the one, but you're going to have to make the effort quite possibly for a lot of you and, um, you know, and not play the blame game. And that's where the children part comes in is playing the blame game when, um, you know, both of you have yeah, taking part in, in what's going on between the two of you currently. Okay. Let's see where you, you are coming from. Yeah. I feel like you've been restraining yourself from, from this person. You have been keeping yourself from this individual. Um, and so when you have to keep yourself from someone, that means you you want them, okay? Now, these cards flipped over. We have the Chariot. We have the Two of Pentacles here. And we have the Seven of Swords. This is somebody functioning um, out of their own or from their own selfish viewpoints 
Um, this is somebody not using emotion to make, not letting emotion influence their decisions. This is somebody that is calculating. This is somebody that, um, you know, regardless of how the other person may feel, they do things out of spite even. Okay, so I feel strongly that someone here, whether you or the other person, Libra, was unsure here whether or not you wanted to move forward. Let me move this back a little bit. Wanted to move forward because you saw success in this relationship, whoever this is for. The energy can go vice versa. But somebody here was unsure whether they wanted to move forward in the relationship or whether they wanted to dip out. Because I get strongly that somebody here just wanted to kind of maybe one up the other person. Even though they, they felt confident that, you know, moving forward would have been a good thing as well. But it's like somebody here just decided to walk out um i feel like before the other one did is what i'm getting it's like i'm gonna leave before i'm gonna leave before you leave kind of thing is what i'm getting here okay Oh, nine of cups yeah i feel like you were this person's um wish I feel like you made them happy. I feel like they just did not allow themselves to fully feel comfortable with you. Like they were restraining themselves. They were trying to be too serious. They were trying to have the upper hand. Hmm. Let's see where you guys are now. Look at that. Temperance was flipped over in here. Wow. Hmm. Temperance was flipped over and I flipped over the two of cups on top of it. I didn't even notice that. Both of you, I feel, are, are wanting balance in this connection. You're wanting to reunite. Neither one of you is speaking to each other about this, though. Both of you want to bring harmony back to this love connection that you both know you feel. Whether or not you want to admit it or not. Keep an open mind. Okay? Let's see what you guys want to do. You want to be sure this is the right thing. You want to be sure this is the person. You can never be 100% sure. But you can get very close. Because guess what? It's falling on top of these two cards here. Just like this. Keep an open mind. Move that in camera keep an open mind and this could be the one okay but you know it in your gut you feel it some things you don't have to really see or hear to know the truth about okay hmm. This could be the one. There is, um, I feel like there may be a choice here for you too, Libras. Let's see what the other person wants. Yeah, they want to make this right. They do. They want to balance out this energy between you. They want to bring this back. That's your card right there too, Libra Justice. They want to. They want you. And they know. They know that you're the one. And I feel like you know they're the one. Keep in mind. <laughs> okay. 
you first have to admit it to yourself. We did see the Seven of Swords there earlier. Um, and a lot of times, guys, that's self-deceit as well. Okay? Don't deceive yourself. Let's see what you guys need. To realize that those two cups are still there. As we saw here. All is not lost. There's no need to weep because your love, the one, is here. Is here. You have to open your eyes and see it. It's here. You guys, please don't let somebody, please don't let somebody slip away or you walk away from somebody um, because of your ego, okay? Because of your ego, and that's what I'm getting. Um, strength is also forgiveness. It's being strong enough to, you know, let your barriers down and, and forgive. Hmm. They need to open up. They need to open up. You guys are like really mirroring each other here. You're exhibiting the same type of behavior between the two of you. Hmm. Look at this. Twos are balanced. Look at that. Two of cups with temperance here. Balancing out the energy. Sharing the energy. Reuniting here. Want harmony in a relationship. Want love. Again, we have balancing out the energy between the two of you. Making something right. Deciding to do that. Then we have the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles here. Five of Cups is like, you know, not seeing what's right in front of your eyes, basically. Letting go, opening up. Seeing the cups that are there. Seeing the person that's there. Seeing the love that's there. Seeing the stability that's there. Seeing the commitment that is there. Seeing what a solid connection that you guys have that's right here. Let's see what the outcome is here. Hmm. I feel like I feel like you will eventually open up. But, you know, this is a page here. So it's not a whole lot of, like, pouring out of emotions that you are willing to give. But I feel like when you do share, it will be genuine. It will be genuine because the page has one cup. And we have the five of cups here, which makes the six of cups. And um, that's balance. This balance is harmony. Six of Cups 2 is soulmate relationships. You guys have possibly been together for a long time. Not just in the here and now. You guys have probably, you know, could have grown up, grown up together. You've probably known each other for a very, very long time here. Okay. Hmm. They have the three of swords.
they're going to be disappointed and I feel like because see their need is to open up if they don't open up they're going to be broken hearted because you're going to take your cup somewhere else possibly not even be with them I get the feeling that um, that a lot of you guys are you know, you're not going to make any moves toward this person but I, I just get the feeling that if if they come back if they make a solid genuine offer then you will be willing to listen here um, but if they don't come back they're going to be very broken hearted because when you learn to love yourself um, it's opening the energy up for you to meet someone else yeah because this is what you're wanting for sure all right my libra so that is what i have for you guys and i will be speaking with you soon um, bye now